Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Let's see if we're actually live. Let's try this again. There we go. Let's get this pulled up. Let's get it shared. Sound down. All right, let's get this shared on the Facebook. Good morning, Melissa. I know long time. I was just thinking about you. I'm just gonna make a paper rosette this morning. As usual, figured I'd share it with everybody. What I'm doing. Hold on a minute when I get done sharing this and hopefully I'll be able to see the chat again. I gotta wait on this. Okay, now let's turn on the live chat. There we go. All right, cause so I want to make some rosettes. Oh, cool. A four-day razor ride. I bet you're exhausted. I would be. I'd be exhausted from a 10-minute razor ride, much less a four-day one. Wow. Can't wait for you to show me pictures and stuff. I bet it's you've got a lot of good memories. There. Good morning, Gloria. Good morning. All over Mexico. Awesome. Awesome. So I want to make a paper rosette. I'm going to attempt to make two of them. I went ahead and cut out my paper pieces <coughs> <coughs> and it started folding half of half of half of each of them. So what I did was for these little ones, for the little one, I got a little one and a bigger one. And the only difference is, is going to be the width across. So for this one right here, this one. I've got two pieces that are 12 inches by one and a quarter. I scored them each at a half inch. So let's start with that one. And so what I did was with this one, I started when I folded, I started by folding my flap down and then just folded it to the accordion so I'm going to start this one with the flap up and I'm just gonna fold it like that just keep on folding 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 get that paper folded <laughs> have a little more coffee Linda <laughs> So now, before I really pinch, I need to come over here and see if they're lined up. They're not lining up real well. So what I need to do is I need to take them and go like this, and then wiggle them to make sure they're lined up better. And then pinch them down. Then pinch them down. And then come onto this side and do the same thing. Make sure they're lined up, and then just wiggle this like that to get them lined up right, and then pinch them down. And then now that I got the two of them, I'm going to take and glue. This is a really easy project. And I'm going to take this glue right here. I'm going to take this metal tip off because we all know that the metal tip doesn't work with the glue I've got in here. And I'm just going to put some glue right here. And I've punched out some one inch circles to go to hold them down with. And I'm going to get heavy handed with my glue. That's just smart, Linda. And I'm just going to glue the piece together. And I'm going to make sure that I don't go above the score line with it. And I'm going to squeeze it and then wipe off some glue. Oh no, is it blurry? 
Well, that's not cool. So I'm using a different camera. So that you don't get flashed. How's that? Let's try that. Is that better? It's probably blurry because there's a lot of unnecessary. Uh, is it blurry if I come up here like this? Let's try turning on another light. No, it's blurry to me over here also. Now that I'm paying attention. Let's try a second light and see. Oh, wow. Boy, you got an exciting life. Well, it's not as good as usual because I'm using a different device. And I'm using a different device because I was trying to get away from the flashing. The other device was doing an awful lot of flashing. I'm going to have to go into the settings and see. I think it's because I'm so far away, maybe. I think when I hold it up higher, it's less blurry. This isn't cool. Morning, Clint. All right. I'm going to go on this side and I'm going to do some glue on this side now. And I'm just going to put them together like that. And I'm just using some patterned paper. And I'm using paper, not cardstock. Now this side's going to be trickier because... Well, because now it's in a circle. <laughs> so now my fingers are like, I want to be funny. Well, I will, if the blurry is too much blurry, then I will have to go back to the other device. This is definitely a cheaper device that I'm using, so that may be it. It may be the amount of people on the, it, it, it could be a number, it could, the amount of devices on the internet being, pulling the internet, it, it could be a bunch of reasons. Let's see if, I don't know, I don't know how to fix it. All right, let's get this rosette made. So now we got to take it and we got to say fingers work. And we got to fold it in like that. Ta-da. And then turn it over. Turn it over. Come on. Come on, fingers. Work with me. Come on. Work with me. Hold it together like that. And then put some glue on. And I hope that you cannot hear those crazy cats outside. This is just turning out to be just a fabulous morning. And then I'm going to take one of these one-inch circles. And I'm going to squash it down on there. And hope that glue I just stuck on there worked. Now, it 
they got it out. Look like they the back end of the record set it back on the road. It's all done. It's raining here all day. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that it's raining. Makes for icky roads. So there we go. As long as that holds, the back side of that holds. We got us a rosette. And you can always put a little circle on the front, too. I'm going to push this side down, too. Oh, good. I'm glad it just went better. Yay, I'm glad it just went better. See, I tested it out yesterday, and it worked great yesterday. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use it again today. And I thought for a second yesterday I saw a little bit of a blur, but so there's a little rosette. Now I'm going to make a bigger rosette. So this one is only like about three inches across, maybe not even. Yeah, about three inches across. All right, I, I just didn't like that flashing. I was so worried about people having seizures. But if the old camera was better, then I'll go back to the old camera. Next time I go live, I'll go back to the old camera. But for some reason, it just kept flashing every time. It, it was getting worse. It get to the point where you could almost not even see. So, just like last time, I did the same thing with these papers. But instead of the one and a quarter, I did these at two inches. So, these are two inches by 12 inches. So, what will happen is my rosette will be bigger. But I did them each at a half inch. And the same thing with this one. Because I'm on a different device. There hasn't been any flashing the last two days because I've been on a different device. As soon as I go back to the other device, I, I'm pretty sure I'll have that flashing. But anyway, so like with this one, I folded it down, the flap down. So with this one, I'm going to start with the flap folded up. And I'm just going to fold again, start folding again. Now, if you want these not to be that tall, you would, instead of scoring it a half inch, you would only score it like a quarter inch, and then it would make it shorter. But then, of course, then you got the um, fun of trying to fold that, do the accordion fold with that. It's easier to do the accordion fold with the half inch. Oh, good. I'm glad the truck is gone. I'm glad you got that. That's all taken care of. Now, I don't know how well the one inch circle is going to work on these, but I'm going to try it anyway. So like the other one, I'm going to bring it up like this and I'm going to look to see if I'm. And I'll just wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then pinch. And then come to this side. And do the same thing. And go look. That fold's not right. Let's wiggle it and see if we can get it folded right. And then pinch. And then we're going to glue. We're going to glue, we're going to glue, we're going to glue, going to glue, going to glue, going to glue. Going to glue them together. So how is it? Is it still blurry? Yeah, it's still blurry. I don't know if it's my internet. I don't know if it's... I think it's the device. I think my other device had better quality because it was a better device. 
So I'll have to go back to using that one. The only problem is the flashing. Nobody was really complaining about the flashing except me. So how's the weather there, Melissa? We're in the 60s right now. We're going up to like 72 today. Every half inch. Oh, that cat needs to go away. Kitty cat's fighting outside my window. That's just not cool. <laughs> that makes for a lovely live. Okay. And then we do the same thing we did last time. We just turn them in on turn it in on itself in the middle. And say, come on. Come on, hold up right like you're supposed to. But do it upside down this way. Come on, fingers. Cooperate with me. Oh, good. I'm glad you can't hear them. That's a good thing. Okay, that's just popped right up out of there. Let's get some... It's harder to hold this one down. Put some glue on here. Boy, that's a lot of glue, Linda. Well, I want it held down. I want it held into place. All right. So now I'm just going to hold it. 73. It's about the same temperature. Well, we're not there yet. But we're going to be. That's our high for today. 73. 72, 73. That's our high. So then if you make enough of these. And then you cut out. Like a 12 inch. Um. With a circle in the middle to make like a wreath. You can make a little wreath out of them. Out of these. Or you can get you a string and you can string them up. And you can make you a garland. With them. My brother's cooking. And it smells so good right now. It's like hmm. Food. I'm over here drooling again. And not from TIAs. <laughs> So there we go, and then we'll hold it on this side. We'll push it down. And if you make them different colors, you can like stack them. But there we go. We made some rosettes. Oh, cool! He's supposed to get to eighty. I don't know what he's making. I haven't asked him. I just smell it. I don't know. It smells really good though. He likes to cook. Instead of Chef Boyardee, it's Chef Joey. <laughs> uh, it's like, okay, I gotta go. The food's uh, smelling really good. No. <laughs> uh, so there we go. And all you needed is just a one inch punch, which I used this punch right here to punch them out. This big old thing. But this big old thing works really good with my hands because I can just set it on the table, slide my paper in, and push it down. And I don't have to worry about it if my fingers aren't working because <laughs> I can just bloop, just like that. Makes it a lot easier. Oh, cool. I want to see pictures. Share pictures in my, if you have pictures, Gloria, share it in my Facebook group. I want to see them. Oh, I'm glad the camera is good. Oh, the camera can't keep up. Oh. Okay, see? 
well darn. So there we go. We have two rosettes. Ta-da! If you yeah, don't forget share pictures of your things and and let it tell them and craft along. I want to see what you're making. I want to see what you're doing. We need to do a room in there. Get together in there on a Friday night or something. Doesn't have to be a specific Friday of the month or whatever. Just when everybody wants to get together, just ring me up. Say, let's craft. Oh, yeah, we could make a Christmas tree if we were doing Christmas crafts. Stack them up. Or a little ballet dress or all kinds of different things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what y'all think about that? I like it. I'm going to make a bunch of them. I'm going to make them in different patterns. It's going to take me a while, but I've got a lot of paper that I want to use up. So I'm going to be making a bunch of them and I want to make one of those wreaths things that I was talking about. Yeah, that camera is doing crazy stuff. I'm seeing it now. That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. I thought that was going to take me a lot longer, y'all. If you didn't catch my live yesterday, I used my Cricut cutie to draw out these cute little dragons. Aren't they adorable? And then I colored instead of giving it to my step granddaughter. <laughs> I colored with a marker the little dinosaur that I had the cutie draw out. And I made, I'm just killing time now, guys. And I made the shaker card yesterday. If you didn't watch that video or see that, I made that shaker card, which I had my cutie, my I don't know why I'm calling it a cricket cutie. It's not a cricket cutie. This is a cricket cutie. This is a cricket cutie. The machine is a cricket joy. I don't know why I'm calling it a cutie. <laughs> That's what I've been up to. That's what I've been doing. Look, it could be it could be an umbrella. We can make a little umbrella. We can make this and instead of having it fold flat. We could have it fold. Okay, don't mess it up, Linda. Why would you do that? Why would you mess it up? Anyway, we could have it so it doesn't fold out flat all the way. Yes, the joy. And then put a little stick in it. And it can become a little umbrella for the Cricut Cutie. Just trying to make you think. <laughs> like, what the heck is she talking about? This is the cutie. See? It's cute. And it can dance and sing and do, 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 do. Doesn't, don't these things remind you of the game Cooties when we were kids? Do they still have that game? Do kids still get to play that game where they have to earn the pieces for the body to build their, their cootie? They just got two. Yeah, it's a cutie machine. I mean, come on, look at it. Look at it. Look at this tiny thing. <laughs> the thing is so small. It's it's cute. It's tiny. <sighs> they still make it? That's cool. It's like. If you don't push these together all the way, they could be skirts. We can make little skirts for these guys. Or girls. 
They still have Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head. I think they're trying to come out with gender neutral Potato Head too. They're, no more Mr. and Mrs., just Potato Head. <laughs> Don't go there, Linda. <sighs> Yes, cooties is what the game is called. And I used to love to play that with my brother. Absolutely love to play it. My brother and I would spend hours. And as a matter of fact, in this room I'm in right now, this is my, my grandparents' Florida room. The room that I'm in now. My new craft space. If you notice, I've got the marble effect look with, with, look with my... Lunar paste that I used the other day. Oh, you know what would look cute if I made a big, if I made a big rosette and put one of my snow. F oh, that's even pretty, just like that. Oh, we need to just put that on there. That was the snowflake we made the other day. Now that's pretty, huh? That would be cool. That would be pretty. Look at that. The only problem with that is that then that would make them only winter time. And I want them for more than just winter. And I'm pretty sure these hearts I have over here cut out are too big. Otherwise, oh, that's not really that big. It's not too big. But that would still also make it seasonal. That would still keep it seasonal. I don't want it seasonal. I could just put a little flower in the center. That would make it even cuter. And that would help hold it down. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put the little flower in the center to help hold it down. That snowflake looks like a star instead of a snowflake. Looks like a Christmas cookie sitting on top of it. Instead of a snowflake. Let's find a different shape snowflake and see. Nah, they're too big for it. Make a cute ornament though. And yeah, that makes a cute ornament. So I think my brother's just heating up leftovers from last night. I think that's what he's cooking. I don't know. Because he brought me something for my puppy dog. He was like, here, this is for your dog. Which I'm sure y'all heard him when he came in. <laughs> All right, I've run out of things to, to run my mouth about. I thought that would take me a lot longer. So, quick question. Do you, you prefer the, the, the flashing versus the blur? The blur won't cause people to have seizures. Nice to see you also. Nice to, to chit chat with somebody. Which Miss Gloria has been here. So you prefer the flash over the blur. Okay. I'm about to get off, Joey. My brother's bringing me food. I gotta go, y'all. <laughs> ah. The blur is more annoying. Okay. Okay. Joey, if you could bring it in so I can show everybody. I was telling them you were cooking. Let's see what kind of breakfast my brother brought me. That's ham? Mmm. Look, guys. Yummy, nummy, nummy, nummy. I got go. I got food.
food. <laughs> oh, it's too blurry. You can't see. I know, right? So now it's time to eat breakfast. If this was a mukbang. By the way, good morning, everybody. My brother says, by the way, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to get him to come on and make a card with me. Once I had everything set up to where all I have to do is I can point to things to show him where things are at. Yeah. Look, I even got some pork. So, all right. Before my breakfast gets cold, I'm going to get off of here. I know. All right. So long. Farewell. La 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 la. Da 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 da. -da.